Hello guys, welcome to another studio vlog. I, in this one, I know we're going to do a market and I have a painting that I wanna finish, so I'm gonna show you guys that. And we're gonna do some stuff for the market with the bins and whatnot. And I think I show you my setup for um, doing live streams as well. So a few different things that we're gonna go through and I'm having a lovely mint tea. You guys saw me add a little honey cause I like a little bit of honey in my mint tea. It just takes a little bit of bitter notes out, but quite, quite tasty, but, but yeah. So let's jump right into that studio vlog. Guys, it is Thursday. So that means it's live stream day. So I'm going to show you my desks and so you can kind of see what I have to change out just if it's interesting to you when I do the live streams. So hold on, I'm gonna flip you around here. So this is my editing desk and this is where I create everything. So we need to change out the creating desk because that's of course where I film the live so we can make something. So let's do that right now. So everything is set up. I have the two frames. I haven't decided yet. I think we're gonna go eight by eight, but we'll see. And then I have my monitor to read chat and a couple of things out that I will need to use. So I'll check back in with you guys after the live. And if you came and stopped by, thank you so much. But I'll check in after and uh, you'll see the finished finished project. Okay, so everything is cleaned up and put back away. And Mist and I are gonna show you what we made. So this is the cool piece of wall art that we made in the live. Hope you guys can see it okay. But yeah, it turned out really neat. So if you didn't check out that live and you want to, you can go and see me make this step by step. And yeah, so let's move on to the next thing. So I originally created these signs for the bins for the market quite quickly because I realized I needed them, but they're not very aesthetically pleasing and they're kind of boring. And I did amalgamate the miscellaneous bin and the miscellaneous no sentiment together because I kind of felt like six bins would be better than seven because I need to fit my stickers on the table. Anyway, so I came up with, here I'll show you the design really quick, of what I created to go so I went into Procreate and I made a bunch of signs. I don't know how well you guys can see these. You'll see them here in a second. We're gonna print them off. But so I'm gonna print those off and we're gonna trade them out for the, the signs that are currently on the bins for something just a little more aesthetically pleasing. So I'm gonna go print them and then we'll cut them and we'll apply them all to the bins. So I'll see you in a sec.
all of the bins now have more aesthetically pleasing labels on them. They're still a little bit rough, but better than the handwritten ones. So we'll go with this for now, and down the road we'll probably try something different. But this will work for this weekend's market. So those are done. I did a price sheet. I made a sticker display. Uh, so I guess our next step is to go and set up at the market. So we'll see you there later. How are you doing today? I really wanted to jump in real quick in the vlog and just show you something that I just recently purchased because I'm incredibly excited about it and I thought you might be interested. So I got the new iPad that just came out as the iPad Pro, the 13 inch with the M4 chip. And this is that right here. It's super, super thin. It's like half the size of my, my older one. And I got it this case, they call it denim. It's kind of this blue colored case. And I also bought the new Apple Pencil. And so I thought I would unbox the Apple Pencil with you because I think it's just going to be really neat to see. And I thought I would share that with you. And I just have my address covered on the front because that's private. But I, uh, I wanted to share this guys with you guys because, as you know, I have been struggling a bit to draw, to create, to do all the things. I, I feel like an imposter and I'm struggling a little bit. And... And not that, not that the tools will make that different for you if you're not going to practice. It doesn't matter what tools you have. But I, um, I caved and I decided I wanted to buy the new pencil and the new iPad because I had an older one. And um, I do all my digital stuff on my iPad. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because I did get it engraved. Um, so I wanted to kind of share that with you. I've never done that before. I, you know, you can always get them engraved when you buy them from Apple. And I've never done it because I was like, I don't want to put my name on it. Like what if, you know, when it gets older and I want to sell it to somebody else, I won't be able to. Um, but I think that this, this engraving is going to be kind of cool. And I thought it was kind of useful. So let's look. Uh, I've never done it, so I don't know what it looks like when you do it. So we're going to check it out. But so this is the, the box that it comes in, obviously. And the doodle on the front is really, really, really pretty. You see it says pro and in like a fun clarity font. So that's really pretty. Uh, and then we're just going to open the pencil up. And of course it says uh, pencil pro so that you know which one it is. And then I added this. So I've got the little stars and it says you've got this. And I just thought that that was... I don't know, sometimes I need to hear it. And now every time I use my pencil, my pencil will tell me. So you get free engraving. It comes when you buy the Apple Pencil and I've never done it, but I thought that it would just be kind of something fun to do this time. So I did it. So we're just gonna, we're gonna unlock it and we're gonna add my pencil onto the, and then we'll find it. There you go, iPad Pencil Pro right there. And then I can bring up my Procreate and it'll work in my Procreate. Not that I'm, I mean, I'm not doing anything in Procreate at the moment, but because the pencil needs to charge, but I have some fun documents in them. But currently I don't have a screen protector on this because uh, the one that I usually like to get isn't available. So I don't have a screen protector on here currently, but thankfully the glass is so tough that I'm not really concerned about that. But yeah, so I just, I really wanted to share that with you guys. It needs to charge, but I'm a, oh, I can feel it vibrate because there's haptic feedback in this pencil. So it like notifies you of things and you can find it. You can add this to your find my in Apple and it actually, if you lose your pencil, it, it'll help you find it. So I thought that was really cool, but yeah, hopefully you guys can see that. I'll hold it up here. I'm sorry, I have to stand up and see if I can even see it on my own phone. There we go. Make sure you guys can actually see that. But yeah, so that is what I bought and I'm so excited about it. It needs to charge obviously, but, but yeah, we are gonna do some digital art together in these vlogs as I work through how to open my little store. We're gonna do traditional art. I bought some paints I wanna show you guys. I'm really excited about them. So uh, hold on to your hat because we're gonna do a bunch of things together and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's let's jump back into the vlog but i really just i really wanted to share this kind of purchase with you and, and it is a little bit of an expensive purchase it is an advanced investment but as everything i want to make is a product hopefully it's just easier to do it digitally um, or alternatively make it traditionally and then you have to scan it and then you have to bring it in and change things so 
definitely a a uh, investment, but I think it's completely worthwhile because I don't I don't own any other tablet. This is the only thing I draw on, uh, other than paper, and I thought this would be a completely worthwhile purchase. So, but yeah, I just wanted to share my new pencil with you guys and the cool engraving that I got on it. So let's let's jump back into the vlog. So I am gonna create a painting here and I'm gonna walk you through the first few steps and then I'm gonna put on a little music so you can kind of just enjoy because I am so new to painting that I'm not sure I can really teach you what to do, but I badly wanna share it with you. So we are gonna do that. So I cut down a piece of Arch's watercolor paper. It's just a super textured paper. And normally I don't know that this is what you would use with oils, but because these oil paints are water mixable, I figured watercolor paper wouldn't be a bad way to start and it's something that I have on hand. Um, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this medium so I'm kind of trying to use what I have so I can kind of work from there. So I just cut the sheet in half and I'm just going to tape it down to a hardboard with some washi tape. You're going to see when I transition between doing the background and adding the cloud detail that I had to add more washi tape and that's just because it kind of became unstuck uh, after I let it dry because oils do take a fair amount of time to dry but man they blend beautifully. So I'm going to use three colors though I am going to show you four here although I'm lumping white into the colors. So you can see that I have yellow ochre there as well. I'm not actually going to use yellow ochre. I thought I was going to, but I changed my mind and wanted to do like the clouds with this background sky. So I'm gonna use um, cerulean blue hue, which is what you see at me doing here. And then I'm also gonna use um, permanent rose. And then I also brought in a lot of titanium white. I am going to mix the colors pretty aggressively to get a lighter palette. So, I mean, it would have been easier if you owned the colors and you could just paint them out of the tube because then you wouldn't worry about mixing them. But I don't own the right shades. There's only 20 colors in this set. And as I said, I wasn't sure if this is a medium I would enjoy. So I bought this uh, when it was on sale at Michael's here in, in my local town because I was really fascinated with the idea of water mixable oils because uh, I don't want to I don't want oils in as much as I don't want to have to bring out like the solution and it, it, there's a lot of into oils if you've ever kind of you know played with oils there's a lot of stuff that goes into it and you know some of it's flammable and some of it's I don't think you should be breathing it in necessarily and I have the cats and you guys know so when I found these water soluble ones I thought that this would be just a really fun and interesting medium to play with so that's what I'm doing um, but it takes a long time to dry, which is totally fair. That's the nature of oils. Um, but <laughs> being so new to painting, it, it kind of made me a bit impatient. So be aware of that as we paint through this. Um, and I did mix the colors a lot. You will see me mixing on that little palette there to kind of get the colors that I want. So I created the background and then let this sit. I think I let it sit for at least a week. Uh, it was probably longer than that. And then I'm going to come in and do the cloud details. Now, when I finish this, and you're going to see me take all the tape off later, I didn't feel like it was quite finished, but because I'm so new to painting, I didn't know what it needed. So I chose to be done with the painting, and then I'm probably going to pull it into Procreate once it's completely dry, because of course at this point it's not dry. I only finished the cloud detail yesterday. Um, once it's completely dry, I'm going to pull it into a digital medium after scanning it and just play with it a little bit and see where I get. But I wanted to share this with you guys because I think it's really, really fun and a really interesting way to kind of start painting because it's pretty simple other than I did so much color mixing. Um, but other than that, I think it's pretty simple. So I will stop talking. I'll put on a little music and I hope you guys just kind of enjoy this process and let me know what you think. Um, I, I'm so new to painting that I have no idea what I'm doing, but I had a lot of fun. So I will talk to you guys again here in a little bit.
is the studio vlog I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts. These are still pretty new to me, so if there's anything you'd like me to change or, or you know, uh, do differently, let me know so I can kind of work on that. So the breakdown for the month of May, this is what I made in my mart, like the special, my little like side business. <laughs> this obviously doesn't include what I went to work and made. But so in May, I made $336 from classes. Keep in mind, these are all Canadian dollars. These aren't USD or anything, it's, it's Canadian dollars. Uh, Etsy, I didn't make any sales. YouTube, I didn't have a payout this month. From the market that I did for the Mother's Day weekend, I made $461, but I paid $160 to have my table in that market. So I only took home 301 of those dollars. And then from affiliate sales, I did have a payout for that this month, and that was $109.84. And of course, again, all of this is Canadian dollars. So this month, or May, because I guess we're now in, just into June, I made $746.84. So that is what I made in my uh, little business this month between all the different things that I'm kind of trying to do. Uh, the Etsy is on me because I kind of haven't been focusing on it as much as I need to, so that's something I need to work on. That is a big focus of June, is to get my Etsy uh, updated because I don't have enough listings. And there's a bunch of things I need to do with Etsy, so that's my, my plan for June. Um, and also I would like to create more art. So tell me what you think of the painting that I did. I am thinking of turning it into like a postcard. Uh, so I like, I wanna make postcards so that they're useful, but then you could also just keep it as a print. So kind of what I'm thinking, but you guys let me know your thoughts. So. That is what I have for you guys for this studio vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. You guys know I do new content uh, every Monday and Thursday, and every second Thursday is live stream, so that's been a lot of fun too, and I'm kind of trying to branch out what we do in the live stream, so. But let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.